So you've just started learning Go and you want to create some applications rather than some regular DevOps or HTTP servers. I'm going to show you three places that you can get started. The first one is called Wales, which is essentially a native web renderer for macOS and Windows that allows you to create desktop applications with a backend written in Go. You may have heard of something like this before called Towery. Essentially, Towery is very similar to Wales, except the big difference is, is that it's written in Rust. They essentially come off of the same principles of improving on the Electron framework, which is instead of shipping the entire Chromium browser to the user, increasing the bundle size, they just ship a native web renderer, which means that it has a very small bundle size, even though it's using web technologies. For Go developers, Wales is, seems like the best option for, for developing native applications. Now, if you are in the web side, you can also use Buffalo, which is a full stack framework, kind of like Django or Next.js, if you're in the Python or JavaScript ecosystem. And essentially it's not just creating APIs, but it also serves templates and has a full front end pipeline that allows you to handle routing, allows you to handle your databases as well inside of there, including an ORM without having to use GORM uh, or SQL C or anything like that. It basically is like an all-in-one batteries included kind of toolkit. Personally, me, I like to develop all my things in, uh, let's say, SvelteKit or um, just like React.js and just build my API inside of Go. But if you are one who wants to use just the regular templating, then feel free to do that. The last thing is Charm. Charm essentially provides CLI toolkits that create amazing CLI applications you may have seen written in Go. Some of the most famous ones include Bubble T, which is the actual user interface elements itself. You may have seen something similar to this in Python. Lip Gloss, which is for styling the elements. Charm itself, which is for creating authentication and the backend for the application TUI itself. And the authentication is actually handled with SSH keys, which is pretty neat. And they have some other product projects here, which you can also check out. But the whole idea of it is that it's centered around making the terminal user experience a better user experience, because we don't really think about that a lot of the times when it's especially a text interface. So if you just started learning Go, then Charm is a really great option to just get started on figuring out terminal applications without having to do any advanced styling. Some example applications I've seen done with Charm is a JSON inspector, a database navigator, and a markdown renderer. Of course, Charm also has their own markdown renderer, which you just saw. But for the most part, if you're creating a smaller application, then you should be great with any of these. And if you are creating a larger application, they have a huge open source ecosystem that allows you to utilize plugins to optimize your workflow.